Tonight, we know at least dozens of Houston families are very angry at a catering business over in Deer Park. They say they prepaid for Thanksgiving meals, but the company didn't show up, didn't call, so they never got their food. Fox 26's Matthew Seedorf has been receiving emails and tags on Facebook from people asking for help and has this report tonight. Is Lance here? Outside the home of a business owner, now in hot water. What's a good day to come back and get a refund? Families across Houston accusing Madhouse Catering of taking money for Thanksgiving meals, but never giving them their orders or money back. Nobody has seen any refunds. Nobody, I don't think we ever will see refunds. Where everyone's money is. And Some angry customers with receipts around $200. I want him to know that it was wrong what he did. Albert Fernandez's daughter, like others, prepaid Madhouse using Venmo for their Thanksgiving meal, but they never got it. I uh, had to go to Kroger's and get uh, chickens, <laughs> whatever little they had. I can't message anybody back because okay. the messages are overloading our phones and they shut them down. Thanksgiving morning, they told customers their phones were shut down, overloaded with messages. Okay, we'll have to go that way. Then in a post on Facebook, the owner claims they ran out of food, the oven caught on fire, and they don't have money for refunds. I was definitely disappointed in Madhouse Barbecue and Lance. Lance? We tried asking the owner himself what went wrong. Okay. Go away. Would you want to, do you have any comment? No, about what comment. Go away. Go over there and go talk to them. They're the one that called you. There's just a lot of people upset about what happened on Thanksgiving. Fox 26 has been unable to find any documentation or licensing that would make Madhouse a legitimate business. But Deer Park police say they're treating them as such. Uh, upset, uh, disappointed. An active investigation now underway for what some are calling a Thanksgiving scam. He needs to go into business. Reporting in Deer Park, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News.